Hello Jens, uh, thanks a lot to accept this interview with uh, Objective Gar here in La Bastide uh, Training Center. It's been a month the, since you arrived here month, yeah. in, uh, in Nîmes and in this uh, new club, uh, Nîmes Olympique. Uh, how do you feel in this club? Uh, how is going your integration there? Well, I'm, uh, yes, as you said, I've been here for a month and I, um, for, for the beginning, I'm, I'm really happy to be here. Uh, it's been, uh, it's been quite a journey of, uh, the free agency market for me. And, uh, obviously I chose, I chose NIM because I thought that there were some, some nice possibilities for me and I could see myself uh, playing here. Um, obviously one of the, the, the bigger differences by, um, coming from Denmark to, to France is obviously the heat. It's been uh, it's been really tough um, for me to to adapt, but I think um, each day goes by and I I adapt more and more. Um, but that has probably been the the biggest challenge. Um, but besides that, I'm, I'm I've been, you know, um, the players have been taking really good care of me. I've also had a few French lessons already, and um, you know, there's obviously a lot of practical things you need to to sort out with a, a place to live and all all those kind of things. But besides that, I'm. Um, I'm good to go and feeling feeling good. Good. You're learning French already. Do yeah, you know I've had two lessons. A few words. Any? Yeah. So obviously, the you know, for starters, the most important thing is to be able to to understand my teammates uh, on the pitch. Obviously, so à droite, à gauche, uh, you know, seul, ça vient. So I kind of need to. Yeah, that was the first things I I I tried to pick up. Of course. Um, but then with uh, with my teacher, it's kind of like so we split it up half and half. One is the, the one half is uh, obviously football, so learn to um, the positions, the you know keywords in the game like profondeur, all these kind of things, right? Um, and then obviously to the other half of of the of the lessons are, are more day to day talks, so I can also yeah speak to to the guys uh, outside. So before coming here, you were playing in uh, your country, Denmark, and how did you decide to choose Nîmes? Why this country? Did you know the club already before? You said some points could m could match with with your personality and your your game. What is it? Yeah, so I can start another another place. I, I've been in uh, in my former club for many years. I've been there since I was 12 years old, and I had. Uh, seven senior seasons and um, I thought for a time I thought I needed a new challenge um, I needed to get out of my comfort zone and, and try to to explore uh, myself as a person and, and also obviously as a, as a football player so so that was my thought going into to, into it um, and it has taken me a lot of time and, and and then when I was during the free agency of course there was a lot of clubs who are involved and asking about my situation and I've also been trying to to figure out what do what do I prioritize um, I had a really good friend I still have uh, Mikkel Dessler from Toulouse mm -hmm. as which I followed uh, the last year in Ligue 2 um, so from from him I learned a lot about uh, the clubs and, and the strengths and uh, and um, and the way of uh, of the of the game in uh, Ligue 2 and I could see myself uh, um, Yeah, playing here, and also I obviously talk a lot uh, to him about about the club. Um, but also, you know, it also meant a lot to me that I had the feeling that Nim was really interested. They mm -hmm. um, they put their efforts in, and I was speaking to Bernard, and I was speaking to the coach, uh, and they were you know expressing <coughs> how they saw me as a player, and they had visions for how I could uh, help the team. Did they uh, assign you some? plans or some objectives in in the team for yeah, this of course, uh, yeah, season of course. so so we were uh, talking about so what formation are we going to play how can they how do they see me um, join the team and that formation with the qualities i have um, and i think the um, the qualities and what they needed aligned let's talk about this big challenge was it uh, tough to leave uh, denmark your family your friends your life there Yeah, of course, but but again, I've 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 been wanting for for some uh, for quite a while to to get out of the, out of my comfort zone. Um, I've expressed that to everyone uh, around me, so so they knew. Um, yeah. I thought they were having uh, a good time having me close. Um, my sister also just gave birth to uh, my new nephew. I haven't seen him yet, so obviously there were some things. Uh, Congratulations! Yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, so, so. 
yeah, it's a big challenge, of course, but but I'm not too um, too worried about it. Like uh, I feel really comfortable already, so I think that's uh, the most important thing. But of course, it's hard hard in the beginning, but it's not it's not that it's not a thing that um, fills my head too much. I'm here for to play, and I'm here to to do my best for the team. You signed for one year here in the club. Do you would like to stay in the long term uh, with this club and to to take responsibility inside the team? And how do you see your evolution here? Well, um, I I would definitely hope that it's going to be more than uh, one year. We'll we'll have to see. Obviously, I can definitely see myself staying. And um, I think um, I think me taking French lessons is also and you know. Uh, a testament for that because I I want to be able to adapt to to France uh, as quick as possible and and to being able to 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 learn the language will also help me also to to provide some of the the other things that I'm like that I can do besides my abilities I also have had you know a big responsibility in my in my former club um, so I, I have a lot to offer on the table and and as soon as I can learn to, to speak more um, confidently you were captain In the, in yeah, I was, I was captain club. for my ah. uh, for my former club for for this just this previous season, but but have been you know playing playing a lot of games and and obviously had um, some experience uh, playing a lot um, in in a competitive league. We're only 12 teams, so it's quite compact league, and then mm. you if you're not sharp, then then you can it can get ugly fast. So so I've been used to to be playing and and have yeah the pressure on. Let's talk a bit more about the the game, if you like. Uh, how do you analyze your two first games with the Nimona Peak? They were quite different, these two games. Yeah, yeah, For obviously, you? obviously different. And I think uh, right now I'm still, you know, gathering all the information I can by how how do the other teams play? What what can I expect from um, still from my teammates as well? They I, I still uh, getting them to know better, and also they they will also have to to learn me as a player and and the connection between us. I think by each training it gets it gets better, um, and obviously it was two different uh, two different games. Um, I think uh, the Khan game was more back and forth, whereas um, the Sangli Chen game they they were a lot on the ball. I think we had I think we had options when. When we conquered the ball and we were trying to to make the the counter attacks, I, th I thought we we could do something, um, but I was yeah. And for myself, I, I thought like I, w I wasn't too happy with my Sangli Chien performance besides the goal. Um, so I, I still I still feel like I'm, I make too many silly mistakes, um, also especially in games, but also in training. Like I, I still need to to adapt to yeah to another group of players. And I was playing six. Uh, more defensive playmaker in in Obi. Yes. Um, and and um, here I'm gonna probably go a little bit further up the pitch and be more like box to box and and be able to to bring some of my qualities in the offensive play as well. And you didn't really describe this goal that you score for your second match here. Yeah. Can you describe it for us? Uh, yeah, of course. Um, I think it was uh, like uh, Lamine getting the ball from the central defense and he. I was trying to, you know, he, he as a sixth position, I'm I'm having my back towards the uh, their goal, and I was trying to find like a hole in the pocket. He ma puts it out for for Tibu, and uh, Malik was taking a great run down the side, and which brought their central defense onto the side. And I looked around, and I was like, oh, Tibu, there was there was space here, and he made a, a great ball, perfect ball. Um, when I got the ball, I I, I did. Uh, I was kind of looking for Musa if I could, you know, just put it around uh, the the defender, but I think he closed that well, that down well, uh, and then it was like, oh well, I'm gonna shoot. Uh, luckily, it went in. I, I think I had two shots before. Uh, I'm glad that I didn't um, think I have shot too many times at that time. So went for it and was obviously happy to to get my first goal here. Hopefully, hopefully one of many. We'll see. You've been playing uh, in the. All the youth Danish uh, national teams. Do you have a plan or objective in your career to to play for the the national Danish team uh, one day? Is it a dream for you? Yeah, of course it's a dream. But um, we have a really solid national team right now. I sure. would say, uh, especially on my uh, on my position, I think uh, we have uh, a lot of really really good players, Premier League players, uh, uh, Club Bruges. 
Kasper Nielsen, who is a uh, Kasper Nielsen example where I played with him in OB and he went to Belgium and now he's been he's been having an amazing season and been sold to Club Bruges and and he's been on the outside of the of the national team so you have mm. players like Thomas Delaney, Pierre Emil Hoiberg, Christian Eriksen like you have some really amazing players. If uh, Kasper Juhlmann, the the national coach, he calls me, well, I'll be surprised, but I would also be happy, and that would mean that I've been putting in the the right work. Uh, and obviously, if that were to happen, that would also have been good for him because if I if I if I've been able to get close to the national team, I've been probably been doing well for him, and that would also be good for for everyone. So. And besides the uh, heat, you were talking about this big difference uh, between uh, your country and here. What did you discover from Nîmes and uh, the area and what would you like to enjoy uh, to do here? Yeah, so the first um, the first three weeks I've been uh, I was at a hotel in the in the city. Uh, so I had plenty of time and plenty of uh, chances to, to walk around and, and get a feeling of how, how Nîmes is like. Um, I saw the arena, I saw the Maison Carré. Oui? Yes. Um, no, so like really beautiful city and and I've been enjoying it a lot I, I think it's been good for me to to have that time to to get to the, to know the city mm. um, also I was trying the other day I was going out uh, to watch for um, with a guy who helps me with the um, with the house I was I'm trying to find uh, some place to live more permanently and I went back to the city to, to park my car and I found out oh it's Thursday and on Thursdays Apparently there was this huge market, so I wasn't yeah. able to find any parking places. Uh, I came that was uh, I came home at, at around nine, and it was uh, completely impossible. Mm. But I, I like the fact that there are so much life in the city, and and I've I've really enjoyed it. To end with, um, this is a story that you may not know, but you're not the first Danish to play for Nîmes Olympics. Do you know? Yeah. The first one name. It's Kristen Nigart. Nigart. Kasten Nugol. Oh yes, I've met him. Yeah, you you met him. I spoke to him. He played there. He played there in the 80s. I spoke to him, uh, yeah, for an hour, and um, he was really enjoying also to be able to speak Danish. Uh, I guess he hasn't been doing that for quite a while. That's that was really nice to 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 get to to see him. Uh, obviously, he was be- he was playing before my time. I'm from '96, so before I came here, I uh, I must <coughs> admit I haven't heard. Okay. Um, but obviously, besides besides the Danish guy, I knew, of course, we have uh, there's Niklas here, and also I know um, that Birger was here. So I knew that the club also had some some good experience with the the Scandinavians, yeah. and I thought uh, also that was a plus in my book that they're used to having guys like us and the way we th- approach the game and approach the life and approach training. And I I could, yeah, I thought that was a plus for me that they knew kind of what type of probably would be. He was very appreciated by the supporters. Is it yeah, a yes? Or oh, oh, Kristen? K- uh, Kristen. Yeah, Kristen. yeah, yeah. Is yeah. it a pressure for you to follow his uh, his example? It's hard for me to say. I think, um, yeah, I, th- I think it's. Uh, I'm 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 not here to compare myself to Kristen, of course. Uh, I'm really excited. I was really excited to meet him, and I'm. I was quite impressed by his career when he walked through it. It was it was crazy. Like uh, he must have been a crazy good player. Um, so I I would hope that I can live up to the expectations of of the the Danish mark here in Nim. Uh, I will I will definitely do my best. But uh, yeah, I'm not here to be too much compared to to Kristen and what he did. Uh, I'm I'm Jens uh, Thomasen and I'll yeah try my best to to bring in what I can do. Thank you very much, uh, Jens, for your time. Uh, very we welcome. wish you uh, a good experience here in Nîmes. Uh, great challenge for you. And thanks a lot to accept to to talk to us. And uh, good luck for the match against uh, Rodez this, this afternoon. Good Thank luck. You. Thank, Thank you. you.